Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. Today we are doing some Town Hall 8 farming. It's good to get back to this. Um, I haven't been Town Hall 8 in a while. My other account has been uh, Town Hall 9 and 10 for maybe half a year now. So it's good to get back to this lower Town Hall. We are maxing. Uh, it may look like I should be upgrading my Town Hall as I have nothing really left to upgrade. Uh, except walls and he and uh, a couple levels on my barbarian king but I'm going to take advantage full advantage of the loot system um, although time is money and I shouldn't be wasting that builder time because time equals gems in Clash of Clans um, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I can raid Town Hall 7's uh, with a small loot penalty Town Hall 8's and Town Hall 9's and uh, just have a lot of a lot more targets, a lot more possible targets available. Normally, to be an efficient farmer, you must keep your builders busy the whole time, all the time. And when you have nothing left to upgrade, defenses or any other buildings, you want to upgrade your town hall. This is generally true, except in the case I stated where you want to max everything, including walls. You can uh, attain that by being really efficient. Um, in, I've seen a lot of people that in between their upgrades, uh, they'll have full gold. And when an upgrade ends, they will either spend some of that gold or all of that gold they have on walls. And then uh, start another upgrade with that builder so as to not keep him free. So you can do walls in between upgrades and not end up in the situation I'm in now. Where you've got a ton of walls left and nothing to do with your builders. But that involves a lot of play every day. Um, people that do can, you know, get 8 million a day. They're, they're either boosting their mines, or I mean their barracks, which is fine. I do that sometimes too. Or they're playing 8 hours a day, which sometimes I do that too. That's not for everyone though. Some of us are slightly more casual, but even the casual player can and should max Town Hall 8. It sets you up for a great Clash career. I've said this previously, level 8 walls are acceptable at uh, higher level play. I mean, they're not ideal, but they are black. They fit in with the scheme of level you know, 9 and 10 walls, and they're not terrible. Um, you really want level 9 if you're going to trophy push, but you are one step closer if you get all level 8. And it's certainly worth it to do it early on. Also, some of the defenses, and even the Barbarian King, um, if you max them at Town Hall 8, they're pretty decent. You know, level 10 King, he's not great, but he's decent. And the defenses, level 6 Teslas, I see a lot of people go beyond Town Hall 8 with low level Teslas I guess because they take a long time to upgrade this is a poor excuse because a long upgrade time is good it just gives you more time to keep that that builder occupied so you have more time to farm more I like that but regardless Teslas are one of the most important defenses in the game I think at Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9, they are, well, they are your highest uh, damage, highest DPS, um, damage per second defense, so it's good to have them maxed out. So, what I'm trying to say is, don't ever upgrade your Town Hall with any, any defense left to upgrade. And if you want to set yourself up for a long, successful Clash career, max everything like I'm doing here walls and heroes so let's talk about the rating a bit you'll see I'm finding pretty good raids these are not found that easy though I am searching a lot I think there's it's pretty crowded here there's a lot of people in silver league and gold league um, a lot of people can equal a lot of loot but there's also a lot of other people going after that same loot so it's it's here and there it's comes and goes but here we got a great one. 
300,000 easily available with just some barbs and archers. So my typical start, maybe for the first minute here, I will just lightly surround the base with a few archers that can pick off some buildings and then go real hard here, going super hard with barbs and archers. Two pick two sides of the base. I did the top left and top right. Spam barbs with four fingers, two on each hand. Switch to archers, do the same. Two fingers on each hand and spread around the base in a semicircle. That overwhelms all the defenses and uh, they get in pretty good. On a, on a weak base like this, um, you can probably three star as I'm doing here. Mortars are the problem. I'm not going to use lightning spells to take them out on really any bases when I'm farming unless it's uh, going to be a big payout. So um, if you surround the base, mortars can't target all your troops, but they can whack quite a few. Um, your troops will bunch up trying to get through walls and they get smashed pretty hard. If you can ever take out a mortar in any way, take it out for sure. <laughs> So this caught my eye here. This is a base I would love to see as a on my other account as a Town Hall 10. Uh, almost half a million gold in a not max Town Hall 9 base. But you know, as they say, my uh, what? How does it go? My my stomach's too big for my eyes, or eyes too big for my stomach. Either way, uh, I couldn't really handle this. <laughs> you know, I can't get any of these storages with my Town Hall 8 account. But I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Most of it, thankfully, is in uh, in the mines and pumps. So I'm gonna pick those up first. And typically, on my main account, I would just uh, pick. So say like the bottom left there. There's two storages that are kind of close together. Those two gold storages. My town hall eight account. I would picture myself just rushing in there with both heroes, CC and a rage spell, getting both of those easy. Boom. But on this account, it's not going to be quite as easy. I only have a level 6 king who basically does nothing. I mean, he does he does plenty. He's there, he's an extra troop, and that's great. But when you're used to something higher, it's tough, man. <laughs> but I love it. I love being back to the... Uh, you know, back to the roots here. Town Hall 8 is a great, great town hall. There's no reason to rush through it. It's a lot of fun. You get to, you know, you get to start to play with dragons, um, you know, high level, level 3 dragons, P.E.K.K.A.s, um, you know, everything, everything that's really cool, I think. And you get to raid in the bigger leagues, um, and you get good walls, as I said. So, back to what I was saying, setting up here for uh, a little bum rush, trying to get in there. Let's see how my dudes can do. Come on, dudes. Oh, man. That's brutal. Look at that king trying to get through the wall. Even with the ability, he's he's probably going to die before he gets in there. Then my, the rest of my troops hit a bomb. I'm so fucked. Sorry, guys. That was weak. I did get some good loot, though. 200,000 at any point. Um, even if you have to use your whole army, that's okay. If you can ever avoid using your whole army, do that. You can raid faster if you only use half your troops. But that's obvious. You guys know that. Well, let's upgrade some walls. We got a lot, and these walls are easy to upgrade. 200,000 each can do a whole bunch. It's nice to see progress like this. Walls are very easy to see progress on. Instant upgrades. Um, it feels like you're going faster with. With heroes, I know as a Town Hall 9, I kept them upgrading the whole time. It felt like a slow and grueling process because each each level is a week. So every week I would see that number go up one, but it didn't really look that different. So walls are a little more gratifying in that sense. So just uh, just a couple more days of raiding and we will start on level 8 walls. So happy for that. Can't wait till we start that. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching me. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Twitter. Same name is here for updates. Uh, I also might start doing Twitch soon, so look for that. 
Thanks for watching, guys.